Next event then, 310 kilograms, 60 seconds on the clock. You can see here, the thickness of it is very, very thick. Now you'll notice, just so you understand the, the rules, that there will be a certain amount of bouncing at the bottom, and the referee will wait until he's happy that they're not trying to bounce it and get a kickback, and then he'll say lift again. That way, they're not cheating with the implement. Coming back from a last place, he's going to have to pull a big amount here. 310 kilos, big lift for one. I think the winner today with 310 will probably pull about six, seven, something like that. Maybe even eight reps. Now Gary, very tall man, very, very tall man. And that is of course a big hindrance. So for Gary, one or two reps, maybe a third. I think it'll be a huge performance and he's had a bad back recently so we're going to have to really get behind Gary to help get these up. So just strapping on here. When he's ready, he'll give Edmonds the nod. One rep. So he has 60 seconds. You can see this is right on the limit here. 310 kilos for a man of his height. It's a tough pull at the best of times. The son of farmers walked as well. Hamps things really pumped full of blood. It's all, all the harder. Come on, Gary Gardner. Not today. Good effort. Gary Gardner, one repetition. I thought I'd do none, <laughs> so I'm quite happy. Yeah, at 310 kilos in the gym, top conditions is, is a good lift for anybody, especially as a man of your height. Uh, how many, what did you actually do in perfect conditions in the gym? I've been doing 330s relatively easily, but. My back's pumped again. Yeah, of course it is after that first event. Anyway, go try and get a little massage or something. Next competitor, please. It's going to be Simon Flint. Come on, Simon. Just going through the final preparations, getting his mental state ready. When he gives the nod, we're ready, we're underway. One rep. Two. Three. Come on, who wants to see four? You can do five this time. Go on, Simon. Let's hear it. Five repetitions. It's going to go for more. It's going to go for more. It's going for it. Oh. And that's it, time's up. What an awesome display of prep. Five repetitions, five repetitions from Simon Flynn. Masterful performance in deadlifting. And that propel, propel him right back up the order at the end of this event. So next time, he's not hanging around, he's ready, he's in the zone, he's warmed up. He said to me at uh, over 40 years of age, he still has as much energy as he did. 20 years ago. He really is a great competitor in his strength. Still yet to win the England's Strongest Man title or Britain's. He's 
Australian Irish. Uh, only second at the British Strongest Man competition. I remember competing against him in the final in uh, 19... God, what was it? 1999? So we're talking 11 years ago. And about 11 stone ago for me. But, uh, Strapping in as tight as possible. Felix had the strongest back in the world and I had a very angry Andy phoning me up. But this guy, because he came so late to strongman, had to catch up on his static lifts. But he's accelerated very quickly over the last few years. The raw power he has in abundance. The static lifts though, takes a bit of time to build it up. actually a bodybuilder. Came over from Grenada a number of years ago. Lives in Blackburn now. But it doesn't seem to have bothered him that he came to Strongman so late. Nor does it bother him that he tore his bicep, a world's strongest man in Charleston, West Virginia last year. But he was about to, about to, about to make yet another final. Anyway, let's see if he can get a man over six reps. Seven reps is what we need, Mark Felix.
in the lead. Let's go for 10. Who wants to see 10? Nine. One more for double digits. Come on, Felix. 10 repetitions. Is there more? There's more in the tank. Uh, Mark Phoenix knows when to call it quits. So I beg your pardon for my basic arithmetic problems. That will teach me to pay attention. Anyway, Mark Phoenix. What do you reckon, Mark? Must feel pretty good being back in competition. Yes, it's feel pretty good, you know. I see Trying to get used to my grip because I have to change the level. So now it's a bit awkward there. Well, do you think anyone will beat 10 reps, honestly? But I don't know, let's see. You can't mess with anyone because everybody will train very hard. So just let's see. Alright, that's a very fair opinion. Hey, Mark Phoenix, 10 reps. Let's hear it. So he needs just to get one rep to go past uh, Bowers. And uh, two reps to get past Gardner. And then he has to hit five to greet Simon Flint. <laughs> Up it goes, number one. These are battlers. Each one looks like it's going to be tough. Come on, let's hear it for number two. Number two. Good effort. Time to give up. Got to save some energy. Sean, how was that compared to a normal deadlift in the gym? It's quite awkward to think about an apple. Starts with a slippy, slippy bar. Just get on with it. Excellent. You happy with two reps? It's big weight. I'm happy I've got one rep. <laughs> All right. Just happy to get off the bar. All right, here you go, Big Terry Hollis. Now, Terry Hollis never used to be a big deadlifter, but things have changed, and Terry's done his homework. I'm interested to see what he can do here. Hollis can pull, definitely pull a big single at the gym. He needs six reps to beat Simon Flint, seven to beat Westerby. Eleven to beat Felix. Terry came from rugby initially, got picked up by a professional club, taken down to New Zealand back when he was about just 20 stone and then turned to strongman in his mid-twenties. So he just wants someone to do his belt up, make sure he's happy. He's got the straps on now. So we got Holland, Sadler and Frampton to go. All three men can pull a big deadlift. Gotta remember, this is 310 kilos. Come on, Terry. Come on, Hollands! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Seven reps! He's in the second place! 
Three more reps to equal Felix. Eight repetitions. He's thinking about putting the pressure on Sadler here. Eight reps, he's had enough. What an effort, second place so far. Well, that means Darren Sadler's out next. Sadler is an awesome deadlifter, fantastic deadlifter. <laughs> Terry, are you quite happy with that? Um, yeah, fairly happy. Um, I didn't think I had time to get the 10, to be honest, so I thought I might as well just stop at 8, not try and push myself to get the extra two. Now, Terry, I've seen you compete many times, and you tend to have phenomenal strength for the singles, and then the first one went up pretty much as quick as Felix, if not easier. By the six or seven, you look like you're starting to pump. But that seems to be seems to be the way with you, isn't it? You're a sprinter, really, despite your size. Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, all these sort of high rep sort of events don't really suit me that much. To be honest, I'd rather it was like 360, 370 for only a few reps. Probably stand more of a chance of getting near Mark, to be honest. But um, yeah, high rep stuff's not good for me. Well, good effort. Let's hear from man in second, Terry Hollands, as we look towards Darren Sadler from Borough Bridge. Three times at the World's Strongest Man contest. Absolutely. Now, what's your single best in a deadlift in the gym? I know it doesn't exactly cross over, but what have you done? Only really 350, 360, which compared to all these guys is not a lot, but today it's for reps. It's all about reps, all about stamina. Good effort, you're in second place. Here we go then. Our current leader in the competition, from Portsmouth, Rob Raptor.
reps, Terry Holland. In second with nine reps, Terry Sandler. And the winner of the deadlift for repetitions. And it was good for more. Ten reps, Mark Felix. During my bodybuilding days, I did a 410k one. That was without a uh, power suit as well. Really, 410 kilos without a power suit during his bodybuilding days. Anyone who remembers Eddie from his bodybuilding days, as we all do, would remember that he was, everyone talked about him as being the strongest man in bodybuilding. And it was always, for strongman fans, is when are you going to come over? And then you finally did. Do you, do you wish in some ways, do you ever think, geez, if I'd have gone over at 24, 25, you know, you'd have mixed it and enjoyed mixing it with John Paul and those guys? I know if I'd have gone over at that age, I would have been ideal for it, but my bodybuilding was my first love, and that's what I stuck with. I knew if I ever went to the strongman that early, that I could end up tearing muscles and never come back to bodybuilding. But I've done the opposite way. I did my bodybuilding, and then I tore my muscles, so there's no, no need to go back anyway. But I mean, after all these years, I mean, you, of all these years of strength, I have to say, it's phenomenal. The only real bad problem you have is a bad shoulder, isn't it? I mean, how many years have you been in the strength game? How many thousands of hours have you been doing? Well, I wouldn't like to calculate that one, but I've been, I've been competing since I was 20. Yeah, well, there you go. So, actual hours in the gym, who knows? I mean, it's an uncalculable amount of hours. Anyway, we're on with the next event.